Chef Easy. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you how to make some fried kingfish. This is my first time making kingfish, but listen, I feel like if you can fry fish, you can fry any fish, okay? So over here, just a quick ingredient breakdown. I have a few sprigs of thyme over here, about a four or five of them. I've got about five garlic cloves to this side here. I've got about a teaspoon of my homemade green seasoning. So in here, I have half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and half a teaspoon of sazon. I love sazon just in case you guys are wondering what it is let me just show you the packet okay I really love this seasoning it's just gonna give the fish a nice little bit of an orange color as well as a nice little flavor as well and over here I have three kingfish steaks okay so right. first things first let us season up this kingfish first thing I will do is to just set this to one side this is my thyme I'm also gonna set my garlic to one side this is just to infuse my oil when we're frying it a bit later and the first thing that I need to do as you can see the fish has a bit of moisture you don't want that I'm just gonna go in and just dry the moisture from my fish okay as well as from on the plate as well you do not want any of that moisture onto the fish because you find this is what is going to make that fish stick to the pot if you do not dry off the moisture all right so make sure you do this like so all right and then I'm gonna go in with my seasonings over here so you just want to sprinkle a light little layer of the seasonings onto the fish like this so just make sure to season the fish lightly with that and I will be doing both sides of the fish all right so and don't mind if there is any little bit of moisture sometimes you just cannot help if there is just a little bit but just make sure to get as much of the moisture out all right so now I'm gonna go in with my green seasoning and I'm just gonna pass it onto the fish like this all right and make sure as I said to season both sides okay but you don't need lots of seasonings okay so just don't worry about that too much okay just a light little layer of seasoning okay guys and this is it really you don't have to do anything more than that i like the fish to have its own flavor as well so do not over season as sometimes people can tend to over season the fish all right so just to show you this is how they are looking these look absolutely beautiful and the bit of red color you can see is this is just from my sazon looking beautiful on to the next bit i'm gonna let it rest for about five minutes while we heat up some oil so as always i'm using my favorite pot and the brand is salter just in case you guys are wondering so i'm going in with some oil you don't want to put in too much oil i'm using about a cup of oil all right and you just want to allow this to heat up for about a minute before we go in with our thyme and our garlic now that my oil is nice and hot i'm gonna go in with my thyme all right now be very careful with the thyme and then you just want to put in some garlic as well and this will just help to infuse the oil while you do your fish okay so allow that to go for about a minute or so okay as you can see my garlic is starting to burn just a little bit and this is how i like it to be so now i'm going to go in with my fish all right lovely all right i will just evenly distribute the garlic and keep your heat on medium to high because you want this fish to fry up nicely you don't want it to break or anything like that all right so try not to turn the fish around as well and don't mind the little white stuff you see there this is just a bit of fat coming out from the fish okay so 
just allow it to fry up for at least three to five minutes on either side okay and it's looking beautiful by the way now that my fish has been going for about four minutes i'm gonna go ahead and check it to see how it's looking underneath guys look at that beautiful absolutely beautiful do you see how beautiful the fish is looking guys it looks gorgeous and it only needs about two more minutes before the fish is fully cooked all right so just keep an eye and make sure you don't allow it to burn and the oil is infused with the thyme and the garlic so just know this is gonna have so much flavor also notice how i didn't use any flour onto the fish and it's not sticking or breaking apart this can also be because of the type of fish that i'm using which is kingfish it tends to be a bit firmer than the rest of the other fishes but my oil was very nice and hot before I put my fish in and there was little to no moisture. So listen, guys, yes, beautiful. So my fish is ready to be removed. Okay, it's been frying for a total cook time of about 10, 12 minutes. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at how beautiful this looks. Yes. So gorgeous oh my gosh and I'm just putting it on this plate that is lined with a paper towel guys look at that look at that yes absolutely beautiful oh my goodness look at that look at that yes my loves yes my darlings yes 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 look at this yes this is how you fry your kingfish oh that looks gorgeous that looks beautiful so i hope you enjoy this recipe if you did don't forget to give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel it was a pleasure having you here and I will be seeing you again soon in my next one. Bye bye.